Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. So remember, your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to be, be to become billionaires. There's no love there. Beyonce and Jay-Z have a toxic relationship. He preyed on her when she was just 18 years old. Fans accuse him of grooming her and then later on controlling her every move. At the same time, it's been revealed that he's a cheater and he cannot be trusted. So let's get into it. Beyonce is one of the biggest pop stars of our time, but her relationship with Jay-Z rubs me the wrong way, and there are definitely some moments throughout their relationship that show how toxic they really are. But before we get into it, let's talk about how these two met, because the year was 2000. Not much is known about their first meeting and early relationship. However, Beyonce once revealed that the pair first met when she was just 18 years old. The couple sat next to each other on a plane while both attending the 2000 MTV Spring Break Music Festival. Actually, Jay-Z referenced this moment in one of his songs. In the song, Everything is Love, he wrote, We played it cool at the pool of Cancun, VMA. Confidence you exude makes the fool stay away. Fate had me sitting next to you on the plane, and I knew straight away. So maybe it was love at first sight, but they didn't confirm their relationship until four years later at the MTV Video Music Awards. Maybe they waited those four years until Beyonce was a little bit older to announce, because some people don't like the fact that Jay-Z got involved with her when she was 18, because he is 12 years older than she is. This person tweeted, I don't like Jay-Z, he's an effing predator, and his relationship relationship with Beyonce is predatory as F and whatever you guys want to call it because you're a fan he's a weirdo and she was groomed. Beyonce was born on December 4th 1981 which means she's currently 40 years old but her husband who was born in 1969 is well over a decade older than her. While their 12 year age gap is not such a big deal for most relationships the fact that they met when Beyonce was barely 18 years old and Jay-Z was a 30 year old man puts a large bizarre stamp on their relationship. So I'm not fully against an age gap. Like uh, the person I'm seeing is 10 years older than I am, but I'm also not an 18 year old. And I think that there's just not enough information about the early days in their relationship for us to determine whether he went all the way to the point of grooming her. The age difference aside, people have also pointed out that the power dynamics between them were off from the very start. While Beyonce was already famous when they started dating, Jay-Z was already established in the industry and already had way more power and influence than Beyonce had at the time. This fact, in addition to their age difference, has led people to question just how consensual and moral the relationship was at the start. So there's a power dynamic here, there's an age gap, you know, it sounds like a normal Hollywood relationship, to be honest. But after publicly dating for four years in 2008, there was a secret wedding ceremony. We didn't even know that they were engaged, let alone getting married. And while we would have loved for them to have a perfect love story, that's not how the world works. And you guys may know that Jay-Z has famously cheated on Beyonce. She's made it clear, he's made it clear, but let's go back in time and talk about how we found out because it's devastating. Actually, this model, Olivia Fowler, admitted in a song, out of all ways to do it, that Jay-Z tried to cheat on his wife Beyonce with her. Olivia, who goes by the rap name Yes Live Can, addresses Beyonce in a new track where she claims that she turned down Jay-Z's advances. Allegedly, one of his many side pieces is a woman named Olivia McFollard, and she is one of the very few, if not the only woman to have publicly admitted to having been pursued by Jay-Z when he was already dating Beyonce. The wannabe rapper first made claims that Jay-Z tried to make her his mistress in an interview in August 2013 and has continued to repeat her accusations in interviews and in her music. Ash, for the most part, Jay hit me on some, I will reach you when I'm in town. He wanted you to be his girl Friday. <laughs> he wanted me to be his girl when he's in well, town. So, so I said, that was I basically clearly why he was with Beyonce. And it's like, for me, I'm not that chick. Like, I could 
do a lot of things. A lot of girls, you know, do a lot of things behind people's back, hoping that it never comes out. That's so, gonna come back. Karma is. I'm, I'm it does seem a little bit like she's looking for clout. I mean, she wrote, <laughs> you're a man. He likes model chicks. He likes all naturally flawless model chicks like me. What up, Jay? Calling him out by name. She explains that she didn't do anything with Jay-Z because she has too much respect for Beyonce. But if she really respects Beyonce, would she be going around like constantly talking about this and rapping about it? I have a lot of respect for Beyonce. As an artist, as a woman, as a wife, as a yes. wife. At the time, it was like, you know what? I could do a lot of grimy things to get a position where I want to get. Because right. artists do that. But it's like, I'm going to have to look at myself in the mirror after this all done. And then if she really did respect Beyonce, would she be talking all about it? I don't know. But she has shared some details about an interaction that she had with Beyonce's sister, Solange. Quote, I told you the day that Jay-Z and I exchanged numbers at Nobu in Miami. Solange came walking up out of nowhere. I thought I was about to get my butt beat, so I backed off quickly. She has been guarding her sister's property since day one. Beyonce doesn't even have to say anything. Solange is a beast. Solange was ready to beat my butt when she got off that elevator and saw Jay and I talking. Jay saw Solange and then he rushed and sent me to his bodyguard to exchange numbers with him. His name was Norman. He gave me a phone number and I guess that was Jay-Z's extra phone for girls to call. Norman has since passed. I can't believe I dodged an, a butt whooping from Solange that day. She was a big reason why I left him alone. She gave me a look of death very scary. Everyone needs a Solange in their lives. I mean, I would love to have someone who's got my back like that because there are a lot of people who don't. It does seem like Beyonce responded in one song titled Resentment. She wrote, I know she was attractive, but I was here first. Been riding with you for six years. Why did I deserve to be treated this way by you? I know you're probably thinking, what's up with B? I used to be so strong, but now you took my soul. Now in 2013, Olivia's doing her press tour talking about how Jay-Z tried to come onto her and then in 2014 there's the elevator fight after the met gala in may of 2014 footage resurfaced of beyonce's sister solange attacking jay-z in an elevator over cheating rumors the family did release a statement there's been a great deal of speculation about what triggered the unfortunate incident but the most important thing is our family has worked through it jay and solange each assume their share of responsibility of what has occurred they both acknowledge their role in a private matter that has played out in public they both have apologized to each other and we have moved forward as a united family. The reports of Solange being intoxicated or displaying erratic behavior throughout the evening are simply false. At the end of the day, families have problems and we're no different. We love each other. Above all, we are family. We've put this behind us and we hope everyone else will do the same. I mean, it's a pretty intense moment. I mean, a lot of families have issues, but personally, I've never seen anything like this in my family or really anyone I know. In the footage, you can see Solange yelling at the rapper before hitting and kicking him as a man who seemed to be security tried to restrain her. At one point, Beyonce stepped in to stand in between her husband and her sister. Toward the end of the night, Jay said something inappropriate to Beyonce and Solange, and she snapped. When they got in the elevator, it escalated quickly the way family tensions can. Let's go ahead and react to this footage together. I hate fighting, so this stresses me out. So you can see they're all in the elevator, and ooh, Solange is already yelling. Ooh, that escalated very quickly. Oh my gosh. She does seem very strong too. 10 days after the incident, we got that statement from the family and they tried to shut up the media because this footage was everywhere. So at this point, Beyonce fans know that there's something wrong in their relationship or at least something going on with Solange. But in 2016, we get a lot more clarity when she drops her album Lemonade. Two songs in particular, Hold Up and Sorry, allude to infidelity from Jay-Z. Quote, he only wants me when I'm not there. He better call Becky with the good hair. Actually, a lot of her fans were trying to figure out who this Becky was, but it's more of just like a, you know, a name for like a, all the women, I guess, just generalizing them. Beyonce and Jay-Z were plagued with rumors that their marriage was on the rocks in 2014 and continued throughout 2015 and 2016. Then in 2016, we get this album with these lyrics and it really just shows that their marriage is in crisis. But the album itself goes through forgiveness and redemption. So it does seem like it's kind of like a piece that represents them not only having issues, but then getting better from them. This woman, Rachel Roy, the ex-wife of Jay-Z's former friend and business partner, Damon Dash, posted a message on Instagram that people thought was referencing Beyonce. Quote, 
Good hair don't care, but we will take good lighting for selfies or self truths always. After that, people went after her, assuming that she's the Becky. Many Beyonce fans angrily posted to her social media accounts using bee and lemon emojis. You don't want to be on the wrong side when it comes to Beyonce's fans, and Rachel was feeling the heat. Rachel Roy, a fashion designer and the ex-wife of Rockefeller Records co-founder Damon Dash, has been a prime suspect for allegedly causing the elevator incident after carelessly flirting with Jay at the 2014 Met Gala after party. So it was no surprise that fans and the media looked in her direction as the potential Becky with the good hair Beyonce sang about on Sorry. Jay-Z did end up responding to Beyonce's Lemonade album with his own music. The album, I believe, is 444, and on the title track, Jay-Z apologized to his wife for cheating on her. He actually released a footnotes video to talk about the album, and he shares more personal details about what went wrong in his marriage. He actually references her age in some of these lyrics. Quote, I said, don't embarrass me instead of be mine. That was my proposal for us to go steady. That was your 21st birthday. You matured faster than me, I wasn't ready, so I apologize. I seen the innocence leave your eyes. I still mourn its death, and I apologize for all the stillborns, because I wasn't present, your body wouldn't accept it. Yeah, I'll F up a good thing if you let me. Let me alone, Becky. A man that don't take care of his family can't be rich. Hmm, okay. So he's actually referencing this Becky that Beyonce is bringing up. As you guys know, they've been able to repair their relationship, and they've made that public as well. Beyonce was quoted saying, I come from a lineage of broken in male female relationships abuse of power and mistrust. She actually claims that she wasn't able to come to terms with Jay-Z's infidelity until she was able to come to terms with her own family's past. According to reports from the Daily Mail, Matthew and Tina Knowles, Beyonce's parents, separated in 2009 after it surfaced that Matthew, her father, fathered a love child with actress Alexandra White. The two finalized their divorce in December 2011. If you guys want a video about Matthew Knowles, let me know in the comments below because I've heard he's problematic. I've gotten a few requests before. In some of her music, Beyonce actually refers to her father, claiming that she has seen her father's arms around her mother's neck and footage of him having a tender conversation with his granddaughter. Beyonce compares her parents' ill-fated marriage to her own, singing, You remind me of my father, a magician, able to exist in two places at once. At some point, Beyonce did want to leave the marriage after finding out about Jay-Z's affair, but they were able to handle it all together. And maybe it's best that they are together because they've got bigger problems to deal with. Because I came across a story from a former bodyguard that tried to expose Beyonce. Beyonce's former bodyguard has gone to TikTok and is making some explosive allegations against Beyonce. Which, um, where's the NDAs? Like, what, what, ha what slipped here that he can go and talk about them? Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got where you are. So you guys are probably wondering, who is this guy and can we believe anything he's saying? Well, his name is Uncle Ron and he was a bodyguard for multiple celebrities. It's not clear what his relationship with Beyonce was. There are images of him, you know, with her and working as her bodyguard, but we don't really know much about him and her personally. According to Uncle Ron, Jay-Z's and Beyonce's relationship is merely a business relationship and not a romantic one. And the hating ex-bodyguard claimed without evidence that Beyonce is on drugs. Drugs. Hardly nobody knows, but I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it to stay on top. It looks like his page, or at least these videos, have been taken down. We don't know if he did or if the lawyers did. But he was quoted saying, To remember your relationship was a business relationship. Financial. To get to the top. To become billionaires. There's no love there. Uncle Ron also claims that Beyonce's team is going after him. To get him to shut up and stop making outrageous claims against her and her family. Uncle Ron also claims that Beyonce and Jay-Z worked behind the scenes to destroy careers of fellow R&B artists like Carrie Hilson. He didn't offer much proof to back up his claims besides mere words. He isn't the only person to make allegations. A woman also laid similar claims about Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship. So remember, 
Your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to be, be to become billionaires. There's no love there. Days after Ron's comments on TikTok went viral, cultural commentator Jaguar Wright summoned the courage to call Jay-Z a monster who keeps Beyonce drugged to control her. She was quoted saying, he's a monster. I've known he's a monster for years. I've waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscious and the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her together. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscious. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the camera. I know, girl. I'll tell you this right now. You guys are talking about free Britney. You guys need to be doing a campaign and say free Beyonce. She is a prisoner in a guilty cage. And she's watched 24 hours a day. She's not allowed to make a choice for herself. Not at all. Y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign and say free Beyonce. Taking and what she's not taking. I do have like some PTSD from the Britney situation that like a lot of these celebrities, they do get in these positions where everyone else is controlling their lives and their health. And there was a viral clip going around of Beyonce dead eyed and swaying as she watched a basketball game with Jay-Z and it seemed like she maybe could have been on something or just really exhausted. That video is a little bit scary. I mean, I, now that I'm getting older, I do actually get so exhausted to where I'm like, I feel like I'm almost drunk. Like I'm so tired of the end of the day. I like will fall asleep wherever I'm at. I'm just so exhausted. But, um, so I could kind of like see if that's exhaustion, but also she was kind of aware. So maybe it was like some type of like, drug that she's on because the swing is a not a great sign nevertheless jay-z has alluded to being a manipulative and absent husband beyonce has also opened up about her husband's infidelity which was breaking free from generational shackles and while i think that this is a beautiful thing that they can you know push in their art and a lot of people can relate to i do think there's a lot about the relationship that we just don't know and when there's these random people speaking out it's hard not to pay attention to what they're saying one body language expert has something to say about beyonce Beyonce and Jay-Z's behavior. They were quoted saying, holding your partner by the neck when you could have touched their back is a really awkward and possessive thing to do. I can't say that's what he's doing and it's not necessarily negative, but it's clear that he's using touch to show possession here. Beyonce appears to be keeping her distance rather than returning his touch, although her reaction is impossible to discern without seeing her face. So yeah, I mean, the last thing we have is like a note from the body language person. So there's not a ton out there, but there's definitely something off about their relationship. And I think a lot of fans also feel the same way. I mean, we can be fans of both of them, but also see that there's something like a little bit different about them. But I think they being more private is probably for the best because the Lemonade and the 444, I mean, that was a lot and it's i mean it doesn't look good that he was like promiscuous and if he does it again then what is she gonna do so i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below here's my email if you have any other video ideas for me and i'll see you in a new video soon bye guys